What's going on guys, Sergey Protaz here with RC Hobbies Pro and today I'm doing a little video on these guys right here. Wheel spacers. So I got this stock all-terrain tire that I got with the SEX10 and with the 12 millimeter spacer, I thought, you know, 12 is gonna work, it's gonna be good, it's gonna give me that poke, that badass look. Well, the problem is there's no thread for the nut. There, there is none left and so to solve, you know, this issue that I'm having is I went out and I picked up eight millimeter spacers. So that's four millimeters less than what I have currently on the truck. And hopefully I'll be able to run not only my stock tires, but you know, my mud tires. And I actually got some uh, deep woods tires, super soft for crawling. I'm gonna do a little video on those later. But for now, I'm just explaining that if you guys want to go 12 mil full badass, it's probably the, the most you can go. It will work if you're really tightening it to the nipple, but I don't suggest doing 12 mil. Don't buy them. Don't waste your money. I think I paid like 12 bucks for these. I'm sure, you know, maybe in the next truck I buy, they will fit maybe, but for the SCX10, just go with the eights. And honestly, I don't even know. I'm just going to do the eight millimeter right now with you guys. To see if it'll work, I'm sure it'll work because I'm it, it's four millimeters less, and that should be enough for the nut. But with the twelves, I ran it, and the the nuts don't stay on; they fall off. It's just a nightmare. So um, check out my shock video too. I just did a little shock video. Um, if you guys haven't seen that yet, go ahead and uh, check that out. I just put these new janky ass shocks on my uh, SCX10 because my piggyback ones broke, or piggy whatever. Yeah, piggy banker. My other shocks, anyways, my other shocks broke and I put these janky $30 Amazon uh, shocks on. I'm yet to try them out. It's been cold out and I've been coming home late and it's super dark here in Washington. But let's take these 12 mil um, spacers off. And these are actually Trill Hobby Amazon special coming at you live. How you doing? Eight millimeter, um, well, wheel spacers, whatever you call them, wheel spacers. So. Um, if you guys can see that there, um, the part number made in China, obviously they're brass, um, eight millimeters. So I'm going to replace that one nut or maybe one nut back here to give you a better look and I'll show you guys how it's done. So this is this, um, not stock, but 12 mil barely can get a nut on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I should turn my, hold on. All right. So I turned my, uh, light on and hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better, but see that? There is not a lot of tread to go on to, but uh, that's okay. It's all going to change today. I'm going to put these these guys on right now. Um, I like the red accent, but I cannot run the 12s because there's not enough tread, and I don't really care. It's going to be covered. So you grab this handy dandy. Oh boy, it's a tiny one. Where's my little guy? All right. So... They're locked into place uh, using these little screws here. Oh, the truck's falling. I hate the stand, by the way. It only works for smaller cars. For trucks, it's just a pain. So let's see if I can get this off completely right now. All right, it's off. The 12 millimeter spacer. I probably won't need you in a, for a while now. Let's crack into this bag and take the spacer out and replace it. So before I install the spacers, I'm just gonna uh, show you guys how they look. There they are, they come with the shafts for the bearing, where you bearing shaft there to hold the tie rod, whatever, in, in place. So they come with that and then they come with those like bullet um, Allen little nuts as well to actually keep the uh, wheel spacer on the truck. So basically I don't need to I don't need to use any of those because I have one from the previous and it'd be a good opportunity um, to change these um, bearings. So maybe in the next couple of videos I'll be doing a whole bearing uh, swap and just clean them up so better ride and less squeakiness. So let's see here if I can pop this on. Oh, that's pretty cool. It actually has uh, the name of the wheel spacer on there, which is nice. Makes it look more authentic. Let's see here. All right, so where it landed was underneath, so I had to kind of plop the truck up 
and I'm just screwing in that little bullet knot now. Hopefully it'll stay. All right, you don't want to over tighten it or strip anything. I think that's good. It's not going anywhere. I apologize for my camera skills. So let's grab a authentic, genuine tire and put it on. So let's see here, put it on. Oh yeah, way better. Check that out. I've got enough for the for the nut there, and I'll be able to run the stock uh, just mud tires that come with the truck. And I've got enough for a nut, which is all I need. So that's awesome. So that's that's what I was looking for. Eight millimeter spacer is what you need. Don't buy 12 millimeter because it really won't work for you unless you're I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. I've already tried. I, I had one little. I, I've stripped so many nuts already because I had like one little uh, like lock on there and I'd go racing or you know whatever crawling and it, the tire would just get jammed up against a rock and just fall off and then I have to go back to my garage and just fix it got annoying so I'm like I looked on the internet again and I, I found these so yeah I'll be able to run pretty much any tire I got these mudslinger ones boom that's a lot of thread right there also um, these are good tires. I'm going to do a, a tire review as well. I have three different tires. I've got the stock ones, got the mudslingers, and I've got the deep woods ones over here. Sneak peek. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, eight millimeter spacers are the way to go. 12 millimeter, a bit heinous if you want to go extreme. I mean, knock yourself out, but I just proved the theory that it does not really work. You'll get one little nut turn onto your nut and your tire will fall off every time you go crawling. But you know, you do you and I'll do me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys honestly have any questions or any video uh, suggestions or anything pretty much to do with RC, let me know. I'll be happy to help you guys. So I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.